guess you thought you were going to get to see a Rev9 exhaust video, right? Yeah, you are. But before we get too involved in this video, I just want to come in and apologize for not showing the actual assembly of the exhaust. You'll see that in the video here in a minute. Uh, just a precursor to what's coming, guys. We had issues. I'll explain that in just a minute, but it, it, the Rev9 exhaust was great. Don't get me wrong, beautiful. It was more of the car. So I guess we'll get into that in just a minute. We'll see you in a few. What's up, man? What's up, dude? Where you been? I work. Oh, me too. What is, I thought we got rid of the focus. Nah, it's Alex's, man. Oh, this one's Alex's? Yeah, right there. Oh, that explains it all. Well. Yeah, it's a little quiet. A little too quiet, maybe? Yeah, a little too quiet. A little way too quiet? Is there... Maybe time for a exhaust? Yeah, man. You're exhausted? Yeah. You're exhausted? Yeah. Need some sleep. Are you exhausted? Yeah, not yet's the right word for that one. So, you ready to get started on this? I've been ready. Yeah, man. I'll just hold the camera, man. I'll probably put it on my blood and take a nap. That, but I mean, yeah, I would like to take a nap as well. Because I've been working too. Uh huh. I have. You don't believe me? Hardly. That's a bunch of crap, and you know it. <laughs> All right, guys, for real, for real. We are about to slam on this Rev 9. Yeah, Rev 9. Make sure I'm right before I start blaring something out that I don't Man. even know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Yeah, Rev 9. Got back exhaust. I look red. I'm trying to kill the light. Yeah, I look red too. Ugh. Let's see. COVID. COVID. No. Nah. Hey, I got no COVID, man. Um, for real, though, we're going to slam this exhaust on for Alex. Chilling. You've been waiting for this for a while, hadn't you? Since I bought the car in July. Yeah, so it's time. Last year. Yeah, last year. It's time. It's time to make Oh, uh Black Betty. There we go. I can't remember the name of the car. Oh um, man. We got rid of Betty White. Yeah. Thanks, Jacob. It's all his fault in America. Shoot. It's his fault. What? Betty White. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, it's my fault. So, anyway, up underneath this thing, we're going to get rid of this crappy stock exhaust. we got to do some cutting. We'll kind of show you the, then the procedures of doing it like usual. Because there's still some Focus STs out there that are still running stock exhaust. Yeah. And we're going to show you, with my shaky hand, how to get rid of that thing. God, man, my hand's shaking like crazy. That's why I'm in the camera, man. Exactly. So we'll be back in a few. Alright, say so if we got the car jacked up. Pretty much got everything in a box, too. We got the tips. The end of the pipe with the resonator. The mid pipe. Suppose clamps, some other stuff. But I'm gonna have to put the signal stands anyway. I've got to cut this exhaust right here. Right here. Looks like somebody's had an exhaust on here before. That way we can pull this rear section out. And then all the way down that way, we'll unbolt it. And uh, get this mid mid pipe in and get this thing ready. I'm going to try to show you guys what we're doing. Hopefully it'll work out. Let me see how far it's gonna be first. Okay. 
pause button. Possibly, I don't know if we'll made it or not. Yeah. We'll made it, may not. Dude, this will make it a whole lot easier to do. I'm gonna pull down this jack. Oh, uh, hold on. Actually, wait a minute. There's another one. Make a second cut. Just get out of here. It looks like the weight is keeping it from slowing it down. Say it starts moving and it stops. Yeah. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I said that. Shaky. One piece down. One more to go. Okay. Now, you see the exhaust is in. Let me be a little bit more clear to what happened. If I can get out the light. Um, so, this exhaust that was on the car, the factory exhaust... Well, the car came from New York. The exhaust was completely rusted. Um, the cat down pipe coming off of the turbo going to the actual exhaust. At some point, the engine had been changed in this car. And um, I guess we ever put the engine back in, stripped the bolts out. I can't tell you what size the bolts were because I ended up having to cut them off. It was rough. Um, now, the Rev 9 exhaust, 
well you'll see this here in a minute all right so i'm sorry guys we didn't film this but uh this is not really the easiest exhaust install um we did have some issues but it wasn't really the exhaust it was more of the car so once alex is ready go for it seen that rev 9 exhaust went on perfect no issues um, congrats to them for making such a good exhaust and I know Alex has said he read somewhere that somebody made the comment that it wasn't a true three inch exhaust it's three inch except for where it bolts up to the factory uh, down turbo downpipe or the Kelly converter pipe or uh, however you want to name it so all in all, I mean, even though we had to cut more than what we should have, it wasn't that bad. It took a while. We had to go get another tool to kind of help cut a little bit quicker than the die grinder was. So, other than that, it was it turned out really good. And now it's been a couple weeks since we put that exhaust in. Um, burn in is done. The exhaust is sounding phenomenal so it's it's worth it I mean it's not the most expensive exhaust out there but it is worth it so if you're looking at the Rev9 jump on it I mean the MBRP was nice on Jacob's car but we also had to take the mid muffler out to get it to sound deeper and a little bit more loud than what it was so you know what 400 bucks or so give or take a little bit on that exhaust it was worth it it really was worth it so I've got the pups inside sorry for the delay on the video I was trying to get myself reset back to Mondays on dropping video a video um, I know in a couple weeks we're about 16 days away from Ponies and the Smokies, or pits like we like to call it in the Mustang world. Uh, a lot of guys are going to be there. I know Gearhead704 will be there. Hicks House Videos will be there. Stacy and I will be there. Um, and we've got some other friends going with us, so we'll have plenty of cars. I mean, if y'all are thinking about going to pits, go. It, it is pretty nice. Um, other than that, man, get ready. Because we got a project that we hadn't touched in over a year that the wife was wanting done. So, to you, babe, it's time to get back on Project Goldilocks. The car's been sitting since 2018. We've got to get this thing done. I want to get the engine out, get it rebuilt, get the interior completely redone. We're about to have a lot of fun. And probably let you guys maybe do some Instagram polls if I can figure out how to do it. Figure out exactly what wheels we want to go with because I'm not 100% for sure. I kind of want some stock Toyota wheels on that car. But here soon we will be back on Project, Gold, or yeah, Project Goldilocks. Project Barney will be kind of thrown in between. I got some stuff I'm about to start doing to it. And then Clifford, well, last you seen Clifford, he was uh, a little wrecked. But, hiding in the shadows, Mr. Clifford. And a bunch of dogs running around freaking out because they opened the door. So, 
we'll be back on these projects soon guys trust me and once again sorry about the delay on the video you know we're trying to get geared up for pits and uh, get Goldilocks back on the road yeah I think it's time to uh, get the Camry back up and get it running I mean I know it's not your everyday car that people want to see but you know what something about a four-door 90s model Camry I don't know what generation or what body code it is or any of that but something about that car is just it's phenomenal so guys hit that like button hit the subscribe button share this video get it out there turn your post notifications on that way you know when we post and as always dream big we'll catch you guys later Punch you. Tired, man. Well, you're on camera, so what are you gonna say? Restart it.